Okay. We back with another reaction video. Fall in love with me. I introduce her to the game and let her thug with me. She be like Bunny and Clyde. She even clutching me. I feel like it's do a die. She give her soul to me. She want to be close to me. Oh, she say she fuck with me the long way. She say she gon' run my back. I had a long day. She say, baby, I ain't gon' lead you down the wrong way. My bad, y'all. I... <laughs> I'm so, I'm so mad. Like, at this point, I just need to start recording in my office because I cannot deal with my neighbors. I legit had to just yell at James. And y'all know James old as hell. And I do not like yelling at him at all because I respect my elders. But I had already told him about that goddamn dough. <laughs> okay. So I had, I was recording a video halfway through and just had to stop and start over. So my nerves are a little bad. But nevertheless, we're going to get this video. I'm finna hit this thing real quick. Mm -hmm. Ghetto shit. Um, yeah, I'm going to smoke me a blunt after this for sure. So, why am I sitting out here embarrassing me like this? Houston, why Why? Did, why it got to be us? Why it got to be us? Why y'all doing this? And the crazy part is it's, it's so common. It, it's so common. I'm going to go ahead and play the clip. I just, I'm so disappointed. Again, got this from DL Hughley Page. Um, so, we're going to make sure we're recording. DL Hughley be having all the footage, okay? All right. I really need to start going back to his page. Okay, here we go. Fuck. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. She got the blank. She got the blank. Oh my That's what I'm Just in case y'all miss it, let me roll the bag for a bit. Let me roll the bag. Hold on, pause. Let's bring it back. Fuck. Okay. Oh shit. Mm. Mm. And this nigga like, get oh my oh. I'm glad that they didn't What the fuck? And I know exactly what it's in. I know exactly. Matter of fact, I know that turn because my friend used to stay on that street. Yep, my friend used to stay on that street. I know. I literally know exactly where it's at. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. It's so many. The crazy part is, I live in Houston. This happens multiple times a day. Like, I'm not surprised. I am not surprised, like, at all. I'm not surprised. Nothing. I'm not surprised. A uh, literally a, a woman got killed at the fiesta around the corner from my house over a fucking parking spot. Over a parking spot. Killed. Like this shit happens all the time in Houston. Like all the time. Every time. Multiple times a day. I literally was, I was on my way to work. The same route I always go. Somebody got shot at, at the same light I always sit at. Literally not even two hours after I got home. Had that been earlier, that could have been me. That's why I don't drive, I don't fool with the road rage. I don't, I don't do the fuck you. I don't hunk, I don't hunk. I do not hunk at all. The only time I hunk is if you just sitting at the light and you need to go. And I'll even wait a little bit. Or if you backing up on me. Or coming over on me. Other than that, I don't hunk at people. I don't hunk. I don't. I, I got road rage. Now I cuss because you can't hit me. But I'm not fit to pull up. Fuck you. Do all that staring and shit. I don't do that. You don't do that in Houston. You don't do that in Texas. Texas and guns? No. You could do that shit everywhere else. But you're not finna, I don't know, you're not finna do that in Houston. I don't know how everybody else is, but I know I've seen some people who are like pull up and like talk shit in it. No, 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 do not do that in Houston. Visitors, okay? Visitors, new people. My, my, my fellow new Houstonians, okay? Listen to me, I am telling you now. Don't do that. You will lose your life over shit like that. She is out of fucking line. This, and she picked up the shells too. Like, and he just like, get in the car. So he low key, I don't know if he mad. 
<laughs> that she did the shit. Or if he, like, was with it and then was like, bitch, hurry up. Like, why? Why would you? What caused you to even do? Like, what? I got questions. Like, what happened before that to make you shoot at the car? Like, people don't never have no reason. Like, they could have easily just, like, honked at them, cut them off. Like, it, it they don't even need a fucking reason to shoot at motherfuckers in cars. That's how common that shit is out here. You cut a motherfucker off, you risking your life. And that don't make no goddamn sense. That makes absolutely no fucking sense to me. And I'm legit, like, I'm glad that they didn't realize they were being recorded because they, that could have been dangerous for the person recording it. And the fact that she had the camera going, and she must have been recording whatever happened before that because she literally caught it as soon as sis shot the gun. I don't even pick my phone up fast enough for that. She'd have been shot the gun by the time I picked my phone up. But you fucked up because now they know what you look like. They got your license plate. They got your ass on camera. That motherfucker look fake. They finna, they literally finna run the serial number on your ass. They finna run the serial number, figure out where you got that motherfucker done at. You good, you ain't, you caught, nigga. We caught. Both of us is caught. And somebody commented and said she probably could have got off with the first shot, but the second shot threw self-defense out the window. Baby, self-defense was never in the window. That person is in a car. You pulled out a gun and shot at them in a car. What the fuck was you defending yourself from? It wasn't like they was outside fighting and she pushed you or something like, they're in the fucking car. <laughs> self-defense where? And y'all know I'm all for self-defense, but... Self-defense where? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? And I really hope nobody got hurt because the car was able to drive off. However, and I don't I didn't do more research and all that. Cause this is I when I react to a clip, I'll do research beforehand, depending on what the clip is, like if it's a whole story behind it. But I didn't go back to see if they went to jail, like all that shit. <clears throat> pretty sure they did because they got all the fucking evidence in this video but you don't know if the person in the car a passenger or a driver is hurt because that first bullet was close as hell so either it might have went on the side of the car like she didn't miss she hit some part of that fucking car now you can't really see her aim but because a car is so big and she was so close to it that bullet went somewhere in that car, whether it was on the side, through the window, whether it hit the person in the car, I, God, I hope not. Because even if the person got hit, if you get hit, unless you get like a straight headshot, you can move just, just you can drive just enough to get out the way. Your, your fight or flight instinct is going to kick in and you're going to drive just enough to get away. Like, just enough. Now, you might run into some shit eventually, but you're going to drive just enough to get the fuck away. And the fact that you still shot at them when they was way the fuck over there, bitch, they gone. What is you still shooting for? It's done. You not already shot the fucking car. Why are you so angry? Like, what? Why are you so upset that you had to pull out a gun and shoot them in the car? <laughs> fucking road rage bro <laughs> like literally road rage is a motherfucker it's crazy out here like I said I can't speak for other places now I know I've been to New York and them motherfuckers like they second language is honking that's why if you go to New York walk everywhere them motherfuckers in New York some gangsters too and probably Atlanta but I can speak for Houston. I can, I can speak for H-Town. We definitely, like, they for sure some savages on that road. Like, be careful. That's exactly why I don't, I don't fuck with nobody. Because niggas will pull out guns for nothing. If you pass them up and they feel like you racing them, they'll pull out a gun. Like, it's so serious. Like I said, a lady lost her life, an older lady, over a fucking parking spot. 
Bro, you can have this motherfucker. You can have all these parking spots. And the crazy part is, she begged for her life. It wasn't even like, bow, bow, like immediately. She literally had enough time to say, please don't shoot me. And you did it anyway over a fucking parking spot? Bitch, what the fuck be wrong with people? I just, I hate it here. <laughs> I, I hate it here. Like, I hate humans. I hate it here. We got to do better. This shit don't make no sense. I'm so disappointed. And I never comment on posts like this because it be so many fucking comments and people always got some stupid shit to say to your comment, even though I can give a fuck less. But I had to comment. I, I had to comment. Like, it's Houston. The shit is normal. Like, I had to say something. Because I'm so ashamed. I I'm so ashamed. Like, why are we doing this? At all. Not even just this video. Why are we doing this? Please stop. Because somebody going to get hurt for real. It could have been an innocent bystander. You don't know where that bullet went. Bullets fly. What go up must come down. <clears throat> That's why I understand why people shoot. Like, I don't like people shoot on the 4th of July, all that shit. Like, why are you shooting in the air? You do know bullets got to come down, right? You know they don't fly. You won't fuck around and hit somebody, an innocent fucking bystander. Just popping your shit like that. Girl, if you don't put that motherfucking blammo back in the glove compartment where it belongs, dumbass. And it's fucked up because I know exactly where that goddamn street is. I done been over there a few times. Boy, I tell you. Anyway. <laughs> I just, again, I'm, I don't know. Um, I got one more reaction video. I don't know if I'm going to record it now or wait. I probably should record it now because I try to get all of my recordings if I'm at home done late. So I have to deal with my fucking neighbors. I can't do shit in the daytime. Night, I can barely do it. But I might as well try to go and knock it out the way because it's, what time is it? 11.09 p.m.? It's September 2nd. It's the day after my birthday. So I'm trying to get y'all some videos so I can schedule them and just go ahead and roll them bad boys out next week. See that though? It's because I live like right next to the door that enters the building, like the door you got to go through to get in the building. And my, my apartments is set up like hotels, so the doors are in the inside. They not on the outside. That's why that motherfucking door locked to hell. But the Lord going to get me up out of here real soon, so I ain't even tripping. Mm -hmm. Pray for me. So I will see y'all in the next video, whether I have on the same outfit or not. Um, probably so. Yep. Next video, one more reaction. Okay. Bye.